Hi guys, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday was my birthday and I don't know, I just had a I don't know if you call it an epiphany, something like that, where I feel like you know for this year because with me when everybody else is celebrating new years and whatnot i don't normally it's not really a big deal for me um i feel like a big deal for me it's my birthday so i feel like my birthday it's my new year so i get another opportunity to do better from the year before and things like that so now for this year i've decided that i'm going to dedicate this year to do things that I've never done before. So if I'm presented with an opportunity to do something that I've never done before, I am going to take it. And also I've also going I'm also going to be more assertive in the sense that I'm a very I'd like to believe I'm a very nice person. So I find it very difficult to say no. So like i'm always willing to help out and things like that so now i am going to try to be more selfish but it's just for this year though i don't think i'm going to make it's going to cross over to the next year yeah just for this year i just want to get a taste on how it feels like to to be selfish to not follow the rules to to just be carefree you know because I feel like I owe that to myself because for the longest time until now I'm just that person who do things by the book I follow the rules and th even if I know it's situ things that could potentially hurt me I would rather just follow the rules like I will I will I would get hurt just because I'm for, I don't know I'm trying I don't know how to explain it so basically if I'm caught in a situation where uh, I'm going to get hurt or something is not going to be okay for me as long as it's following the rules I'm the kind of person who always makes a decision that benefits the other person so basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm selfless so I'm going to try to be more selfish I'm going to yeah I yeah I'm going to be selfish so this is the year that I'm going to be selfish I'm dedicating this year to be selfish so another thing that I'm going to do which is way out of my my comfort zone uh for the longest time I think for as long as I can remember I'll try to upload a picture of my ID book which I did when I was 16 just to show you guys what I'm talking about I've had natural hair for as long as I can remember. I don't remember ever having relaxed hair as a child. I've always had natural hair. So what I'm going to do today is something that is way, way, way out of my comfort zone. I am going to relax my hair, guys. Yes, 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 yes. You heard me correctly. I'm going to relax my hair. Uh, I think it also goes back to what I was saying initially. Like, it's like... I love my natural hair, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love my natural hair. It's just that I know that um, I want to cut my hair. I just want a clean slate. So before I, I cut it off, all of it, I want to cut it like I want to shave off my head. But before doing so, I feel like I want to experiment with different hairstyles. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, chemically straighten my hair, which is relaxing my hair obviously that's what i'm going to do so yes guys i am going to relax my hair because yeah it it does having natural hair as as beautiful as it looks it gets tiring as at times because you always have to be on this shadow like for example if i know that um i have my hair in a protective style and then if somebody invites me somewhere at such a short notice it's so stressful for me because I need at least three days notice so that I can style my hair in a way that I want. So, and I don't like wearing wigs anymore because wigs were convenient when it came to that. But I don't, I actually don't like wearing wigs. I don't like how it, like it feels on my scalp and things like that. So I don't like wearing wigs. So yes, guys, today I'm going to relax my hair. Wish me luck. And yeah, I just hope I don't get burned. And yeah, we'll see. 
what kind of different hairstyles I'm going to try out this year before I chop off the hair. That's if I decide to chop it off. Maybe I will enjoy having uh, it relax hair so much that I will keep it for longer. So I don't know. So guys, come with me as I go to the salon. So guys, I'm finally here. If you're wondering how my hair is, I actually have it in a box because uh, yesterday was my birthday as I said. So those who are following me on Instagram, you will see the style that I had. So I didn't want to sleep with the braided ponytail. So I just removed it and then I just tucked my hair in. So this is my natural hair as you can see. You see, I just did some twist. So guys, yes. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I really hope I enjoy my first thing to do, which I've never done before. So. Mm -hmm. It's not a game. It's a red thing. Hi guys, it's me again. Yo guys, this is how my relaxed hair look. If I tell you I'm not happy, it will be an understatement. Go, yo guys, it will be an understand statement because the guy who relaxed my hair, he only put the, the relaxer on the roots and I keep telling him that my hair is all natural. So you need to put the relaxer all over. So if you look at my ends, they're actually not relaxed. He just straightened them with a hair dryer. The more I tell him, the more he de he becomes defensive, guys. To be honest with you, I'm actually not happy. Like, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy at all because I know as soon as I wash this hair, it's going to shrink. The ends are literally going to shrink. This is not relaxed hair at all so guys i ended up going to the back to the saloon and complaining about feeling like my ends are not relaxed and they told me to come back after two weeks so that they can relax the ends which i did and this is the finished product as you can see in the video i must say i'm happy with the hair so far thank you for watching and see you in my next video